Hi, it's Vern Bark, and today I'm pretty excited. I got my mini cubic wood stove. I'm going to be installing this into my camper. I'm going to pop her out of the box here. It's, it's really tiny, but it feels pretty heavy. Because with the warning sheet. Packed in here good. Pack, put a stove pipe on it and light her up and uh, it's about 44 degrees in the garage right here so I'll be able to tell if this is working or not it's actually a little bit bigger space than this might be intended to heat but we'll see what it does so the legs were inside the, the stove itself and it comes with the nut and the washer on the bottom pretty easy to put on you can see the uh, air intake for the secondary burn chamber right there Right, this might be a little shaky because I got to do it by hand, but down in the bottom where I showed you the air inlet in the back, that comes up into this tube right here, and that goes along the top, and you can see where the air holes vent right there for your secondary combustion, and then of course uh, right here in the front we have another vent right here with a nice screen across the front to keep stuff from shooting out at you. Well, your pieces have to be really small to fit in there. Anyhow, here we go, first firing. Ta-da! All right, she's starting to take off, and I'll just check back on it every few minutes. Glad I'm doing this outside. I'm getting a lot of paint smoke coming off of this thing, which would probably be unpleasant inside the camper. I should have planned ahead. I should have purchased a Canadian adult beverage for the inaugural firing, but instead I'll just have to drink this Monkey Knot India Pale Ale and cheers. I have a nine inch piece of two by four that I cut in half and put in there. I have this front vent open just a sliver and the uh, top vent is open all the way and you can see it's really cooking along pretty good in there. It's been burning like this for about 40 minutes I want to say, but it's fairly responsive to your throttle controls. I'm going to try out this chunk of high density press log, basically just compressed sawdust, and uh, see how it goes. I hope this isn't too big. I mean it'll fit in there but they tend to expand a little bit when they start going so we'll see what happens. Okay that's pretty good. That actually took less than a minute to light. Sometimes those are really hard to get going so it's kind of nice. So that Presto log has been in there for about 20 minutes. You can see she's cooking right along. Might have to throttle that down. It looks actually a lot brighter in the video than it does in real life. The camera's uh, making it look more fiery than it really is. So I got three inches of a high density energy log in there. And you can see on both the left and the right sides how the swirl is coming around from the top I got the front burn and then you can see right here the air from the top is swirling around I'm getting that secondary combustion this is awesome 